as we wait an update from Broward County on Hurricane Irma preparations. The Category 5 storm barreling through the Caribbean, and we're now learning that three people have died in Puerto Rico. Joining us now on the phone from Puerto Rico is Captain Eric King. He's commanding officer of Coast Guard Sector San Juan. Thank you very much for joining us. Hi, good morning. So you just heard us say we now have reports that three people in Puerto Rico have died. There are, what, 3.4 million people there. We have reports a million people are without power. What are conditions like right now? So conditions on, on the island of Puerto Rico, uh, you know, we, most of the, where we are at uh, inland by about 10 miles, we, we positioned our forces away from our downtown location in Old San Juan. Um, both locations have lost power, and we're on generator power uh, for, for the Coast Guard forces at this time. Yeah, I also saw that 14 hospitals are using uh, generators after losing power. What is the Coast Guard doing to help? So the Coast Guard's role is obviously, um, you know, focused on the maritime, the maritime perspective. I mean, we're linked in, aligned with the Emergency Operations Center and uh, the Puerto Rico Emergency Management Authority, uh, but primarily focused on the maritime commerce uh, which and, and facilitating any search and rescue that, that would need to happen uh, on the island of Puerto Rico as well as the Virgin Islands. Have you seen any of the damage from the U.S. Virgin Islands? I know people online, um, also for Puerto Rico, saying that they're not getting a lot of coverage from those areas, but I know that communication is limited with some of those islands right now. Yeah, the, 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 certainly the communication infrastructure has been impacted. Uh, you know, fortunately, I mean, we're, we're able to have some cell coverage uh, and, 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 and able to communicate uh, amongst ourselves. I think from the, our largest concern would, is remains uh, St. Thomas and St. John and the northern coast of Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. um, the, the geography down here uh, with islands, obviously people are aware of that, but there's ferry systems that are used to really move a lot of the population around. And uh, so one of our major focus areas uh, is certainly ensuring that we can get those ferries back operational to move first responder personnel uh, in between all the islands to, to, to support the population. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, I have some friends down there in St. Thomas, and I was trying to reach them today, and there's no phone service. I spoke with them before Irma hit, and a lot of people definitely stayed behind on those islands, so I hope that they're okay. Uh, what um, equipment do you have to help out? So the Coast Guard, the Coast Guard at, this, at this point, we've got uh, we're helicopters in the air, one eight sixty and three eight sixty five helicopters uh, flying, uh, so supporting search and rescue as well as doing over overall damage assessments. Additionally, we had seven cutters sortie from San Juan and go down to Curacao. They're going to be coming back along with a medium endurance cutter uh, to support the relief effort. Uh, and within San Juan, uh, our small boats are getting back in the water now, so we have three small boats, uh, 45 response boat, as well as three other craft in the water, uh, looking at aids navigation and doing assessments to, to get maritime cameras back as soon as possible. Yeah. And even though uh, the hurricane has passed uh, directly over these areas at this point, the danger far from over. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, Captain King. Appreciate it.